Wednesday afternoon, Clackamas County officials posted these red tags on the gates of the Mount Hood Center in Boring. They're a dangerous building closure notice, warning people to stay out. The property, built as an equestrian event site, markets itself primarily as a wedding and event space. Aaron Shelley is director of operations. He couldn't believe the notice. We were uh, well, saddened, hurt, uh, betrayed. Shelley says the dangerous building notice is the latest chapter in what he describes as a smear campaign and abuse of power by certain Clackamas County officials over the last two years. They've held up permits, uh, made, made false allegations against um, our facility, denied us due process of, um, of code enforcement. Clackamas County officials argue they've offered to help the business comply with codes multiple times to no avail. They also point to the building's maximum occupancy of 300 people, which Shelley admits they knowingly exceed, given the sheer size of their building and its sprinkler system. We put countless resources at the front of making sure that the building is safe. County officials tell us what they don't have is the kind of fire alarm that would notify the fire department directly during an emergency. And then this happened. <laughs> On March 16th, the Mount Hood Center hosted a concert. Clackamas County fire officials estimate between 65 and 7,500 people were there. You can see from the video there were moments of chaos as people crowded the entrance. And then county officials say things turned violent. The sheriff's office responded and there had been a stabbing at the event and due to the high volume of Park vehicles. It was difficult to get emergency vehicles to the facility. Clackamas County fire officials tell us they worry about future events and public safety, which led to this dangerous building notice. The county also filed a chronic nuisance lawsuit against Mount Hood Center. And because of the history of this place, uh, you know, we could only imagine things are going to get you know, worse and worse. So uh, it was really time to do something. Shelley says what happened at the concert was an isolated incident and upset him as well. One of the problems that we we faced when this last event is that we were assured by the promoter that only 1500 tickets were sold and only 1500 people would be in attendance. It turns out there were far more than that that were allowed to come in. But only 300 space. people were allowed here, though, to begin with. So how do well, you justify that? Only 300 people, according to the, the fire marshal, and in his application of a particular section of code that doesn't apply to our building, but insofar as... But that's your opinion, correct? That's my opinion, and that's the opinion of also the life safety engineer that we hired to uh, to do the analysis of this of this building. But it's not the agency that actually matters. Uh, well, the agency that has enforcement uh, capability is stating 300, but they're also a participant in the smear campaign that I mentioned earlier as well. The next scheduled event here at the Mount Hood Center is Saturday, their 420 high noon event featuring cannabis vendors. The manager tells us they've already sold 500 tickets. They say if they decide to cancel it and any other events, they'll issue full refunds. We certainly wouldn't want anybody to be uh, wronged. County officials say they don't want anybody to be hurt. Whether or not this is the answer or just part of a smear campaign may now play out in court. In Boring, Catherine Cook, KGW News.